Hey guys, I'm English teacher Matthew, and today I'm going to teach you how to describe your business. So today I'm going to help you to describe your own business. We are going to think about six different areas we can describe a business. So we're going to start off by talking about the history, then the location, then how to talk about products,、um, your customers, your employees, and finally, the most important part: the sales and the profits. So let's、uh, start with the history. When we talk about a company's history, we usually talk about the date when it started, the date it was founded. So the first phrase we can use is "was founded." Was founded. My company was founded in this year. This is the structure of the sentence. We can change、uh, "was founded" for other vocabulary, such as "was established." My company was established in this year. My company was established in this year. Or we could change that. Well,、uh, we could change that to. Was set up in. My company was set up in this year. My company was set up in this year. If we want to talk about how long the history is, we can say, "My company has a history of mm, 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 years or months or or days."、Uh, my company has a history of. Mm, 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 Days, weeks, months, or years. So this is how you can talk about the history of your company. Let's talk about the location. And just like before, we can use one phrase to talk about where a company is located. When I say where the company is located, I'm talking about maybe where your office is. Maybe it's a branch office. A branch office is like a little office. Um, not the head office. Maybe you're working at the head office, and maybe you want to tell someone the head office, the head office's address. Or maybe you work in an overseas office. Maybe your company is from another country, and you work in the overseas office. But、um, the phrase we can use to talk about this is is located in. So, for example, Facebook's head office is located in Silicon Valley. Comment if I'm wrong.、Uh, Facebook's head office is located in Silicon Valley. We can change "is located in" to "is based in." Is based in, or we can use the phrase "is situated." In. So all of these phrases will allow you to talk about where the company is located. Let's talk about the products. When we're talking about the products, you could have a product that you could see, something you can actually sell, a good, or you can have a service that you sell. Like、uh, I sell a service. A bank sells a service too, but most shops sell goods. We can use several verbs to talk about、um, what products、uh, shops have, or what、uh, products companies make. So we can use the verb manufacture. Manufacture. Manufacture means make. And、um, it's a good word. It's quite a formal word in business.、Um, you could also use the word produce as well. Produce. So you can say our company manufactures this product, or our company produces this product.、Um, you can say make as well if you want to. And、um, if you are、um, a service company, then you can use the verb provide. So. Uh, banks provide a service、um, to their customer.、Um, banks provide bank accounts 
service to their customer. I provide uh, English classes. I don't actually have a good, but I can provide my service. If you're interested, uh, teachermatthew.com. Now, when we talk about customers, we're talking about the target customers. Every company has a target customer, the customer or the person they want to sell to. Maybe you are one company's target customer. So there are many ways we can talk about the target customers. Firstly, maybe you, your, maybe your company's target customer is everybody. So you can say, um, we sell to general consumers. Consumer is just a very a big word um, for a customer. Because a customer is someone who usually only buys a good. We usually use the term client for someone who uh, buys a service. So when we combine the customers and the clients, we call them consumers. Um, so maybe your company, your company's target customers are uh, general consumers. So you can say, our company's target customers are general consumers. Maybe um, your target customers are the middle class, for example. Everybody wants to target their product at the middle class. Not uh, the um, people who have a lot of money and not the people who have a little money, but the people who are average. That's what I would, that's how I would describe the middle class. But maybe um, you are a luxury brand and your target customers are the upper class. Or maybe you are selling very cheap clothing and maybe your target customers are the working class, the people who um, are manual workers, blue collar workers, who um, work in factories or on building sites and in fields. So uh, in your company, if you know, what's your company's target customer? Tell me in the comments below. And when we're talking about employees, the people who work for the company, there are many ways in which we can describe um, them. Usually when we're describing a company, we want to say how many employees we have. So um, for example, we can say this company employs this many people. This company employs this many people people. So employ here is a verb we can use to describe um, the company's uh, staff and how many. But instead of using the word employ, we could also um, use different ways. So for example, we could also say this company has um, a staff of 160 people. For example, or you can say our company has 160 staff members. There are 160 members of staff in our company. So there are a few ways in which we can describe how many um, staff members or employees you have. Let's talk about the sales and the profits. The most uh, crucial thing when you uh, want to talk about and describe your business because this is the uh, bread and butter as we say this is the this is the crucial point of having a business so we can describe the company as being profitable if your company is profitable then it's making profit every month so it's a profitable company you could also uh, say that your sales are increasing going up. Our sales are increasing. Um, or you could always say our sales are decreasing. Our sales are decreasing. They're going down. Or you can say our company usually breaks even. We don't really make a lot of profit but we don't make a loss either. So our company breaks even. Um, like I said um, if your company breaks even, then that's good because you don't make a loss. A loss is when you lose money. 
you don't make any profit and you don't break even. Or um, you don't make a great profit, which everyone in business really wants. Um, so a profit is when you actually make money, when your income is bigger than your expenditure. So thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you learned something new and I hope you stayed for this long because this is the longest video I've ever done. So if you are still here, congratulations to you. If you did make it this far into the video, leave me a comment below telling me that you finished the video. I'd be interested to know um, if you got this far. If you did like the video, make sure you press the like button. And if you want to see more, make sure you also subscribe. And until next time, keep practicing.